talking about. I know this isn't your normal radar view, but look, you can see right there with me. That's where the circulation is. That's where the confirmed tornado is in northern Orange County. It's moving off to the northeast. Let's talk about where it's headed next. So we're back to traditional radar view. We're going to widen out. It's moving off to the northeast. It's not the fastest moving. It's 25 miles per hour. That's another reason why it's going a little slower. So this is going to head to from right about here off to the northeast. That's going to come right through Timberlake. It's going to pass right over 501. It's going to clip northern Orange County, northwestern Durham County. Tornado on the ground. It's going to clip southern parts of Person County in and around Timberlake over the next 15 to 30 minutes. Not only that, but we have that second tornado warning. Let me see if I can get an update on that because that one actually for a while showed the stronger rotation. Uh, nothing confirmed on that. And back to that damage in Mebane. Um, it looks like it's uh, some residential structural damage. Um, I don't know if we want to get the, the, the weather beast headed in that direction. Um, but this is for our friends in Mebane. So I hope everyone there is doing okay. But this storm is still potentially on the ground. It is still an active tornado warning. Um, on top of that tornado warning that has an active tornado on the ground in northern Orange County, we still have the active tornado warning in Person County. And, you know, tornado or not in Person County, look at all the heavy rain and the incredible amount of lightning we have. Now, just because we may not have a confirmed tornado yet, these storms today have already produced 60 mile an hour winds. So that can do a lot of damage. We know how easy it is to knock down trees around here. Um, and we've also had uh, numerous reports of hail. So I don't want anyone in Person County to let their guard down because we have a tornado on the ground in Orange County because it could be just as bad. And you see the radar here with me. I mean, it looks pretty bad up there. So small storm, but packing an incredibly powerful punch. I got a, just a quick update on what's going on with the damage report in Orange County in and around Mebbin. Yeah, major damage to a building. Thankfully, no injuries reported at this time. But listen, everyone in northern Orange County, far northwestern Durham County and Person County, now's the time to be ready to go, if not already in your safe place, because whether it's a tornado or 60 mile an hour straight line wind gust or an incredible amount of lightning, you want to be in the lowest level, most interior part of your home. If you're just flipping around or if you didn't hear me say it the first time, we have a confirmed tornado on the ground in northern Orange County and a tornado warning that continues for the next next 30 minutes. Just for everyone else who's keeping an eye, I know you may have some friends or family up there, or maybe you've never been in that part of central North Carolina. Here's what else is going on. A lot of us are just really warm. I mean, we soared into the 80s today. It was incredibly humid. There's so much energy out there for these storms to produce the bad weather we're seeing. We do have some active severe thunderstorm warnings, which again can be equally as problematic for parts of Halifax and Northampton County in and around I-95, right through Roanoke Rapids, some strong storms right there producing heavy rain and lightning. And again, it could be producing some damaging wind gusts and hail too. So again, good idea to be in your safe place there. But as you can see, um, as we kind of, uh, you know, look at the big picture, there's two main clusters of storms that are causing us problems right now. And I'll tell you what, I mean, these storms that are just kind of popping up east of I-95, I mean, they're small, but they're producing a ton of lightning. Um, those darker, intense reds and almost purples, I mean, that's telling us that the clouds, top, the cloud tops and the thunderstorm tops of these storms are really, really tall. When you have really, really tall thunderstorms, it gets way up there, 30, 40, 50,000 feet in the atmosphere where it's below freezing. And that's when you get that rain getting picked way, way up in the clouds, freezing, and then that's where you have hail drops. So not only that, but some heavy rain for you guys in and around Eureka in parts of Wayne County as well as Edgecombe County. So that is a very busy Friday afternoon for us. Unfortunately, we still have an active tornado situation, two different warnings, two potential tornadoes, one confirmed on the ground in northern parts of Orange County, one that I would say likely, and if not, we've got many other problems with all the lightning that has just moved into parts of uh, Roxborough. Give me a second. Actually, I'll ask um, uh, Stephanie in back if she can pull up our camera up there, the Heiko Lake camera. 
All right, and whenever you guys get that, just pop it up for me. Um, I would not be surprised. I mean, you know, we've had some power outage reports as well as these storms move through. So let's just hope that the camera is still connected. Um, quick update on what's going on from the National Weather Service. All right, the, here's another update from the emergency manager for the damage in Mebane. Yeah, more residential structures, you know, unfortunately in and around Mebane, um, you know, not only that's the outlet malls, but it is a highly populated area. You know, it's right there along I-40, anyone that's driven toward the Triad or out up to the mountains, I mean, you've gone through that. So that's where this tornado apparently has hit. And so there's a look. So. Uh, I don't know if that's been updated. It looks like it's a little bit delayed. Okay, yeah, so we're doing a time lapse here. Yes, yeah, so, so that was a little bit of a time lapse. And can you guys roll that through one more time? So, so we go from cloudy skies, no rain, cloudy skies, no rain, and then we go throughout the afternoon. And then watch at the very end how you can kind of see these sheets of rain start to show up. Give it a second here. So that's the storm arriving. And I know a lot of you get worried when you see these ominous looking clouds. Uh, that happens a lot. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's a tornado. These ominous looking low hanging clouds that look mysterious, they're usually scud clouds and are not at all um, tornadic. But yeah, they're definitely seeing the heavy rain and it looks like we lost the camera again. That was uh, a time lapse for Heiko Lake, which is in Person County. There's also a power plant, a hydroelectric power plant. So you probably see the smokestack producing some uh, smoke off, not smoke, uh, uh, some steam off to the right there. Um, but that's what that is at Heiko Lake in Person County. Let's go back to the radar. And again, if you're just uh, joining us, it's now past 5.30 on Friday afternoon. We have two active tornado warnings, one confirmed tornado on the ground in northern Orange County. I want to take you back to where that is. We've had a couple of scans. So there's the actual radar. All right, I'm going to loop this through a few times for you. You see it's moving off to the northeast. It's not a fast mover, unfortunately. So you guys are going to have this heavy rain in Person County for a while. Um, but our problem right now is as I switch over to our analytical mode, we have two parts of this storm that are producing rotation. One in the heart of western Person County, in between Leesburg and Roxboro, right there along Highway 158. Nothing confirmed on that one, but you see as well as I do right now, it's rotating, all right? And then the one we have confirmed, and that other rotation where we're seeing those red pixels.